Hi, I wanted to hop on and just give a few ideas about some ways of improving your current situation. And this is an area of relationships, right? Trying to have healthier relationships or trying to deal with the loss of a relationship. And so um, I have a few challenging questions to ask you today. And one of them is, um, how can you assure yourself of having the worst result from the situation that you're in? Like what would make it worse? What could you do that could make it worse? That's your number one first question. And are you doing any of those things right now? So to think about that, like in one of my groups um, yesterday, we were talking about the whole idea about positive thinking versus negative thinking. And um, people found that one of the things that was making it harder for them to accept their current situation is they kept reminding themselves of all the mistakes that they made and regrets that they have and resentments that they were holding. And that just continuing to ruminate about all of those negative things just kept them feeling more and more isolated, more and more paralyzed about moving forward. So the thought is, if you can just start with one positive statement, every time you have that negative statement and just build on that. So um, if we're looking at what what are the things that you're trying to put in your life right now that might help you move your situation forward? So in our group last night, it was even telling people in the group, this, this one person was even telling people in the group that they felt isolated. They felt like no one could relate to them. And even breaking out of a situation like that made them feel like they were actually doing something that was really hard for them. And then they got the feedback that other people felt the same way. And from there, they could start connecting. So sometimes our negative mindset and the things that we're telling ourselves keep us really stuck. So um, in the next video, I'm going to talk about some of the basic cognitive distortions that I want you to watch out for and watch yourself um, doing these because these are the ones that are going to keep you really trapped. So listen to the next video to get that tip. I just want to make sure I break this down so that you can have a lot of time to think about what I'm saying and not feel like I'm just going on to another tangent. So I'll see you in the next video.